tea times. Bartering tea times, that's something I came across with some research I began to do, which really seems to be um, that Achilles heel. Because how that looks to someone, someone, what does that look like to the, the owner or manager like you? Uh, it is, it's very enticing, yes. Like I said, you up front, you look at it, and there's no no outlay of cash, um, depending on how, what you're negotiating, and you're, you potentially could get some uh, some of the hard goods up front, uh, where they would provide that for you. Again, that no no cash outlay to your company or your course at at that time, uh, and then no monthly fees. Uh, hmm. Simply allow them to sell some of your tea times. It sounds like a pretty um, you know, not just uh, enticing, but it looks like it would work out for you, so why would you not do it? Why did you stop doing it? Why would you not do it or recommend it? There were a number of various reasons, um, but for the most part, it was creating, or it was actually taking away customers that were semi-locals that would, um, that were taking advantage of say, you know, they would normally want to come and play us at 11 o'clock and say they would normally pay us $40. Right. Um, so they were then being trained that, hey, if we uh, are patient and we look for the uh, barter times, you know, maybe we buy the 11 o'clock time from Belk now at that time and we can get it at their discounted rate. Um and so, so what? We don't get to play at nine o'clock. We pay, we pay for it, and maybe have to play at eleven o'clock. Uh, but what they were actually doing then was buying at eleven o'clock and then showing up at nine o'clock and saying, "Hey, just go ahead and why can't you just let us out?" Oh, now? wow! I did not see that coming. I see that coming. <laughs> well, I thought they were going to show up. Do we be the bad guy and say, "No, you've actually paid for eleven o'clock"? You know. Yeah. Well, hopefully, <laughs> we would be busy, and they would have to wait till they're eleven o'clock. Most of the time, you know, there would be a gap so you could work them in so they would be able to beat the system uh, multiple ways. By the books, then we would have to look like the bad guy. And then, of course, they would usually then maybe by the time they bought their tea times, they had brought two more friends with them. So, of course, what are you wow. going to do there? Now we've got these two guys with us. Why won't you match the price that we paid versus that? 